warmth, power, courage. We can reach out to the energy the sun gives all of us. We can find that ray of strength, that voice of empowerment that brings confidence to ourselves and our well-being. Today, we will use techniques that help harness that golden sun, even perhaps if the day is not. The welcome to a 20, 15, 20 minute yoga practice. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that you're comfortable. So do whatever that means for you. It might mean closing the door, I would encourage you to turn off your phone if you have a phone so that you give yourself a chance to be uninterrupted for 15, 20 minutes. If you're somewhere cold, you might want to have a blanket with you. You don't need a yoga mat at all. You can use one, but you don't need one. And if you're someone who finds sitting on the floor uncomfortable, please have a chair or sit on, the, sit on a bed or a sofa. So this practice comes from the Vini Yoga tradition, which is a traditional form of yoga. So the emphasis is on about inner connection, not about looking right. So I'm not going to be doing the yoga and that's on purpose. I don't want you to feel that there's a particular way that this is meant to look. It's more about how it feels for you, within you. So how this is going to work is it, I will talk you through what we do. So at that point, you'll just listen and I'll be explaining it hopefully in a very straightforward way. None of it is complicated. Then I will lead you through it. So I will talk you through it. And at that point, I'm expecting you to be doing it with my voice. And then the good bit comes where I'm going to be quiet and I leave a space for you to do it yourself at home. And hopefully, particularly in that bit, you might even choose to close your eyes and you get to really do some yoga that feels deep and nourishing. And we're not interested in whether it looks exactly right. That doesn't matter. What does matter is that you feel safe. You feel that there's some pleasure in it and that you feel that it's over the course of the practice that your attention is beginning to kind of come closer to home. Yoga is all about coming home to yourself. And at the, the end of it, you'll lie down or sit down and I'm going to chant for you and you will be moving your awareness through various parts of your body as I chant. So the theme for this practice is the sun. And I've chosen that because the sun is a universal symbol of life, of energy. Some people would um, say divinity, but that's entirely up to you or not. This isn't about any religious practice, but if you have that kind of tendency, you can see it in that way. And so what I want you to do now, we're gonna get ready, ready and actually participate in the practice. This practice has chanting in it. So if you've never chanted before, welcome to chanting. It's a very powerful tool. And in fact, in yoga, it is the first tool mentioned. It's subtle. Vibration gets in in a way that body movement or even the breath can't. So I'm going to encourage you just to do it. And especially if you're at home um, and no one's around, who cares what it sounds like? I'm not a brilliant chanter, and by hearing me, you'll probably feel, okay, if she can do that, I can do it. But, but also, if you really don't want to do the chanting, if it's too uncomfortable for you, still do the practice with us. And you can either just mentally say the chanting, or you can just leave it out. You're still going to benefit. It's still a worthwhile practice to do. So the chant we're going to use for this session is the chant to the sun. Ideally, this is probably better done in the morning, but you could also do it in the evening. So there's two parts to the chant. 
The first part many of you will be familiar with, it's the Pranavar Mantra and it's simply Om. And the second part is the Sanskrit, one of the Sanskrit words for the sun and that is Surya Ya. So put together that is Om Surya Ya. If you can do it in one breath, that's ideal. However, if you need to sneak a breath in between those two, it's fine as well. So let's make a start with the practice. I would invite you please to find somewhere comfortable that you can sit on the floor, on a cushion, on a chair, doesn't matter where, but so long that you can have your spine just softly upright. You don't want to be rigid, but you want your spine just to be kind of a sense of your spines floating from the base right up to the top of your head. And let's just take a moment for the body to settle. So for you, that might mean that you need to breathe out. You might need to shake your arms around, move your head. Just do whatever gestures or sounds or movements you like to do so you can kind of settle your body. Then once you've done that, please see what it's like for you to close your lips and just to begin to breathe in and out through the nose. Obviously, if your nose is blocked, you're not going to be able to do that. But otherwise, see if that's possible for you today. And if it is possible, I just want you to put one hand on your chest and just breathe quietly in and out through the nose. Begin to smooth the breath. And if it's not possible, you're just quietly breathing in a way that makes sense for you today. And then I would invite you please to bring to mind an image of the sun. So we have choices. It might be that today you're wanting to work with a gentle rising or setting sun. You may want to be working with a fierce midday sun. Don't overthink it, just let yourself have a sun. And it's okay if you're not a visualizer, you don't actually have to be able to see this in your mind's eye. It might be more that you just have the idea or the feeling of a sun. Now the sun has many qualities. I'm going to offer up a few just as suggestions because I want you to choose one quality and it may not be one of the ones I suggest. You may have another quality. You might already know what it is. But the sun represents things like generosity, clarity, courage, warmth, it's gold, it's bright. Just take a moment to find one aspect of the sun that you're going to use in your practice today. So what happens as we move into the practice, particularly if you're doing the chanting, you are inviting that particular vibration, that energy, that essence of that quality to become active within your system, within your body and within your mind, bringing positivity into you. So what I would like you to do is start with your hands on your heart, just one on top of the other. And at this stage, you're just sitting gently. You've got your eyes closed if that works for you or softly gazing at the floor. I'm going to explain this once and then I'm going to talk you through. So all you're going to do when you breathe in through your nose, you're going to let your hands float off your body and they'll just come out to your sides, kind of at shoulder height. And then you will chant 
back to your heart. So I've inhaled out and then Om Suryaya as you land back on your heart by the end of the chant. So I'm going to talk you through two now. So beginning with an inhale through the nose, let your arms float out to your sides, pause for a moment, and then you're going to chant back to your heart. Om Suryaya. Go again, inhaling out, breathing in through the nose if you can, chanting back to your heart. Om Suryaya. Go ahead and do that four more times yourself. Okay, now you're going to come and stand on your feet. And at any point during this class, if you finish before I start speaking again, make use of that moment. Like don't waste it by kind of feeling like you're hanging around waiting for me to talk again. Be in the yoga by just experiencing your breath in those quiet moments while we all wait to catch up together. So when I say stand, I just want you to be comfortable. Doesn't have to look any particular way. Just put your feet on the earth in a way that feels supports your body today. If you need to, if you might want to bend your knees a little bit just so you can really drop some weight into your feet. Give your shoulders a waggle. I'll explain what you're going to do and then I'll talk you through too. Then you'll do some on your own. So this time again, you're going to start with your hands on your heart. Again, same inhale. It'll take your arms out to your sides. This time you're going to stay there and do a chant while your arms are out there. Then after you've chanted, because you can only chant on an exhale, after you've chanted, you're going to breathe in, look up and take your hands up towards that sun. Like you're reaching up to that sun for that quality. And then you'll chant your hands back down to your heart. So getting ready, I'll talk you through twice and then leave you to do it on your own. So you're starting with your hands on your heart, inhaling through your nose, the arms come out to the side, stay there and chant. Om Suryaya. Breathe in, look up, take your hands up towards the sun, reach out for that quality, chant, bring the hands back to the heart. Om Suryaya. Breathing in, the arms come out. Then we stay there and chant. Om Suryaya. Inhale, look up, reach up to the sun. Exhale, chant to the heart. Om Suryaya. Go ahead in your own time. Two more. Just check in with your body. If it needs a wiggle or a squiggle or a shake out, give it one. We're going to do one more standing series. So just check that your feet are still comfortable. 
So for this one, it is going to involve bending forward, taking your hands down. So please remember, you can bend your knees. And also, if you know that you it's not okay for your body to bend all the way and put your hands on the floor, have a chair in front of you or turn and face a bed or something and just go down as far as is okay for your body because you're going to stay down there for one breath, so you need to be comfortable. So I'm going to talk you through again, explain it, then we'll all do it together. So what you're going to do this time is you're going to start with your hands down by your side. When you breathe in, you're going to take your hands up towards the sun, look at it, feel that quality. Then you're going to chant all the way down to the earth, taking your hands as far down as your body is going to let you bend your knees because you're going to stay down there. You're going to stay down on the earth. You're going to breathe in, feeling that quality coming into you. And then you're going to chant while you're still down there. And then you need to move quite quickly on the inhale because you're coming all the way back up to the sun. And then exhaling hands to the side. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to talk you through twice if it didn't quite make sense anyway. So getting ready with your hands by your side. Breathing in, take your hands up towards the sun. Look at it, look at that quality. Chant your hands all the way down to the earth. Om Suryaya. Get comfortable because you're going to stay there. Slowly breathe in, feeling that quality coming in. Stay there and chant. Om Suryaya. Breathing in, standing up quite quickly, take your hands up to the sun, then exhale, chanting to your side. Om Suryaya. Breathing in, hands up to the sun, look to the sun for that quality, chanting hands all the way down to the earth, bending the knees as you go down. Get comfortable because you're going to stay down there, slowly breathe in. You're going to chant on your exhale. Then you're going to inhale all the way to standing hands up to the sun again. Hold that quality. Chant the hands down to your sides. Now do two more in your own time or take rest if that didn't feel like that you want to do two more. And then again, just check in with your body, see if it needs anything. Give it a rub if there's somewhere sore, give it a shake if something feels tight. So we're coming towards the end of the practice. So the next bit is going down onto the floor. So I invite you to go down onto the floor. If you've got sore knees, you might want to put a little blanket under there, but we're not there for too long. So I want you to go on all fours, like you were going to crawl. And the best way to set yourself up for this, if you can, is to have your hands sort of pretty much directly under your shoulders. You've spread your fingers out kind of wide. Obviously, if you've got arthritis or sore joints, you may not be able to do that. So just work, work with your body, not against it. And you've got your knees pretty much directly underneath your hips. So in this position, I want you to look forward and up slightly as if you're looking at the sun and you're letting your belly hang. So there's kind of a little bit of an arch in your back, not an over-exaggerated one. And then when you breathe out, you're backing your sitting bones, your buttocks back towards your heels and you're taking your forehead towards the floor. So the arms kind of stay where they are. They might wiggle slightly. 
And so you're down now in what's called child pose. So you stay there, as comfortable as you can be. It doesn't matter if your buttocks aren't on your heels. If you can, your forehead's on the floor, but it may not quite reach the floor. You stay there, breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly. Then you breathe in, it lifts you back up onto all fours like you're crawling. You look forward at that sun, that quality of the sun. And when you breathe out, backing back, forehead towards the floor, sitting bones back towards your heels, arms are stretched out. And I want you to stay there, slow breathing in and a deep breathing out. I'll talk you through one more, then you're going to do two, four on your own. So the inhale lifts you up onto all fours. You're looking forward at that sun, at that quality. Your belly's softly hanging there. It's when you breathe out that you fold back down. Forehead towards the earth, sitting bones towards the heels. And relax, because you're going to stay down there. Take a slow, smooth inhale. Give yourself time for a deep, relaxing exhale. Hopefully all out through the nose if you can. And then again, it's the inhale that lifts you up. And I'm going to leave you here now just to do a couple more on your own. If you've had enough already, go and lie on your back. So just finish the one you're on now and there's time you can do one more if you want and if you're on your back already just rest your hands on your belly and just feel your breath. Okay and everyone eventually getting onto their back your body will have a preference for being on its back either to have your legs stretch right out or to have them bent with your feet on the floor just choose the one that's best for you and i would invite you just to take notice of where's your chin going sometimes they can sneak up towards the ceiling if that's happened just gently encourage the chin down a little bit and if lying on your back isn't a good experience for you this next part can also be done sitting in a chair or on on the floor check if you need to sigh or make a sound if you do help yourself and then i invite you to rub your hands together and then rub them for a few minutes it's like creating friction or heat between your hands and then please put the heel of the hand so that's the base of the hand over your closed eye sockets and take three slow, smooth breaths. And then place the hands over the ears. And again, take three slow, smooth breaths and then just rest the hands on the belly. And make whatever adjustments you need to to make yourself completely comfortable so that you could remain still for the next five, maybe even 10 minutes. 
So what we're going to do next is place the vibration of that sun, the quality in particular. So bring that to mind, what quality you're working with this morning. And I'm going to talk you through the chakra points in your body. So in yoga, it's understood you're more than just muscle and bone, your energy. And that energy is, it flows in a particular system. And the chakra points are points of high energy, kind of, a, and they kind of along your spinal column, along the middle part of the body. The first one, however, you cannot put your hands on because it's right at the very, very base of the body, kind of below the sort of genital area. So just take your mind there. And if you're a color person, you could also know that this is a deep ruby red. So just resting your awareness in this space. Feeling the quality of the sun coming into this area as I chant for you here. Om Kham Ujjanatya Mitramaha then we come up to the next point, Svadhisthana, and this is orange, and this is just above your pubic bone. Resting your awareness there, and maybe even a hand. Om Hreem Aarohanuttaram so moving up to the navel, your belly button here at Manipura, which is gold. Om Hrum Redrogam Mama Surya Then moving on up with your hand or just your awareness to your heart. Green. Om Chaim Arimanan Cha Nashaya Come on up to the throat, Vishudi. And this is turquoise blue. Om Chaum Shukhe Shume Arimanam And then right to the top, the crown of the head, gold or white. Om Raha Upanakasu Dadmasi And then we go through once more back down to the base ruby red Om Ram Ato Coming up, Svadastan, orange. Om Hrim Arimanandi Dadmasi. Back to the belly, golden. Om Hrum Udagadaya Madhitya To the heart, green. Om Hrim Vishvena Sahasa to the throat, turquoise blue. Om 
kaum. Vishantan mama randayana. And finally to the top of the head, the crown, white or gold. Om Praha Moham Vishato Radham Then just breathing quietly. Just allowing all that practice to settle and integrate into the system. Feeling that quality of the sun in the space around you and also in the space within you. So if you have the time and the possibility of staying still for longer, I encourage you to take that time. However, if you need to get up and get on with your day, just take three conscious breaths, just deepen the breath, three full deep breaths before you gently open your eyes orientate yourself to your home, the people, the animals in your home, and re-enter your day, hopefully feeling nourished and full from that practice. So thank you for sharing this space with me, and I hope that practice brings you a good full day. And it is a practice that can be done every day. Yoga is best done every day. However, if that's not possible for you, even doing it once a week, you will get some benefit. Namaste.